Right. Yeah, the, and the Notch 8 experience, I think, came back into play and being really important because we realized that the, the school really is a connection between developers and uh, the business and industry. And so um, how, you know, of course, how Notch 8 works with clients is very different, but those relationships are still important and something that uh, we leveraged in those early days on, and uh, you know, okay, what does, what do our our clients need? What do we need as a as somebody as Notch Eight who hires employees? And so we really structured those early um, learn classes around uh, specifically what uh, what we saw a need for in re in real business and real uh, real development teams. Yeah, I think that's still true. The that, that today Notch Eight is such an important part of how the classroom is shaped, not just in those first few years, but still that like Notch 8 has been a place where we can tap the industry and have our finger on the pulse of what's happening. What are people building things in? What tools are they using in their day-to-day -day workplace so that we can make sure that the students that are coming out to learn are coming out with those skills and can be productive on day one of the job. Because one of the big problems I think we realized early on was that people were finding, you know, a, a, a new employees that were maybe coming out of a CS degree and things like that. But the onboarding process of getting them up and going was so long and so hard that that it wasn't worth it. That they needed people that were more productive faster, mm -hmm. and that was one of the problems I think we went out to try and solve. Yeah, yeah, that was. For sure, I mean, it was a, an opportunity for us to really get um, to know people coming through the program first. So, you know, Notch 8 has continued to take advantage of that, and we really love uh, the opportunity to, to work with folks who graduate from the program. In fact, I see. way more than half of our employees at this point are yeah. Notch 8 graduates. We actually have to work to hire people that aren't from there. <laughs> right. Um, and I see it all the time that we're probably the only consultancy or only software house in San Diego that doesn't have a hiring problem. Right, everyone I talk to, every CTO meeting I go to, every time I'm out in the community, people are telling me how hard it is to find developers. And so, um, and I think that to go back to what you were saying, Chell, about the, the notch eight, you know, and learn kind of being mirrors of each other, like it, it goes down to the day, right? Like in the morning, you come in at notch eight, you do a stand up, figure out what you're gonna work on, you pair up, you do that work for the afternoon, maybe you touch base a little bit in the evening, and then you go home, and every day, you know, it's sort of that cycle. And at Learn, we come in in the morning and we do a stand up. We figure out what challenges we're going to work on. Maybe in the afternoon, you get back together and have a little discussion about it and see how the day went, answer questions. And, right. you, you know, like the, 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 we want the last day of group projects and the first day of your internship should feel like the exact same thing in a different place. And the last day of your internship and the first day of your full-time job should feel like the same thing. And maybe it's a different place, but for a large percentage of our students, it's the same place. Um, and that that's you know a huge difference from like I worked for Johnson and Johnson, and they expected three to six months to on-ramp a CS person before they made their first commit to the code base, like the first right. like approved thing to go to production, right? And we see our interns are you know day two. They're taking code live and they're freaking out on Slack because the code <laughs> they wrote yesterday is going live now and that, that, that's both really exciting for them but also a little terrifying. 